Welcome back everyone to another video. Today I'm going to talk about how to optimize your game, get more frames per second, get that better, smoother performance in Adventure Quest Worlds. I always play in high settings. I have a lot of issues with that. I think I've sorted out my performance. Uh, let's go to Yolgar and see if I did. Um, I did probably everything you could possibly do and I'm going to show you everything you can possibly do, or to my knowledge to increase performance and if you have any cool tips or tricks definitely leave those in the comments to what you do I'm gonna go over everything I do uh, in this video so let's get into it really the first and best way to increase performance is buying new hardware um, but if you don't have the money for that, which I'm guessing a lot of people don't because, you know, it's expensive as shit. Plus, this, this wouldn't, this wouldn't help your performance at all because it's a graphics card and that doesn't help your performance in Flash games, only your CPU will. So you could buy a better CPU, buy a better computer, of course. That's the first way to help your performance. I mean, cost money, so you're probably not going to do it, but common sense would dictate that it's the best way to increase performance. Let's get on to the software. Alright, so the first piece of software I have... Ooh, look, it's my wallpaper, ooh. Um, is a C Cleaner. Um, I guess it stands for Computer Cleaner. I'm using the free version. I don't see any reason to pay for it. You know, you can download the free version. It's 100% free. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm using 64-bit version. Definitely want to get that if you have a 64-bit operating system. So you can just run the cleaner. I don't know if doing this will mess up my recording. Hopefully not. But yeah, it runs a cleaner. It cleans up a bunch of different things, like your search and... Uh, your cache on your system, your memory dumps, and it you can also get to clear your cache on your browser. Uh, also, clear your cache on your browser, you can do that manually on your browser, or you can get this program to do it uh, for you. So, that's definitely the first thing. It can also clear out your registry, which is helpful for, I guess, saving room on your hard drive and stuff like that, and just cleaning up a little bit, making your computer run a little bit faster. So, and also if you want to know the specs you have on your computer, and if you don't know, like say you have a random ass laptop or something, it says all the specs you have, like what operating system you're running, how much RAM you have, graphics card, CPU, it says all that on this program. It's a really cool program, it's free, I'll leave a link to it in the description, and uh, when you install it, it will try to trick you into installing like some kind of browser plugin or something. Uh, just, you can just click cancel or no when you see that pop up and you'll be fine. So let's move on to the next piece of software. So in, uh, startup, so this is a very extensive guide and you can see my Steam open right now. I probably should have closed that before I started recording, but it's a very extensive guide. So I'm going through every little detail of op optimizing your PC. So you'll see on right here, this is all the background programs that are running. Well, it's not all of them. You can actually go into your task manager and go to... Uh, details right here. This is all the programs that are running on your computer. So it might look like there's a lot a lot of things running and you can see how much of the system resources, how much memory it's taking up. Like this plugin container is taking up quite a bit. Um, like you can see what's taking up what. And if you see anything that you don't recognize or you don't think should be running, if it looks important, like maybe your NVIDIA graphics driver, you probably shouldn't do anything to that. But if you don't know what it is and it's like the L core, well that's for my mouse. And you got my screenshot software. If you see any weird stuff like install agent.exe, I don't know what that is. Uh, like you, you can look into it on your files. Uh, you can go to the file of it and see what it is. Don't delete anything that you might think will break your operating system or anything like that. But you can see any weird programs that are running in the background and cancel them out. Also, if you have programs that are uh, opening on startup, they'll be down here. So I have a bunch of programs to open on startup. Most of them are essential. Uh, but in the CCleaner program I just uh, showed you about earlier, you can go into tools and startup. And you can see all the different programs that will launch on startup. And if there's any programs you don't want to launch on startup, then you can uh, close them right here. So you can disable them. So if I didn't want Steam to launch every time I turned on my computer, I can just click disable and it will disable the program. And if you want to delete it, you can also do that here also. So very, very good program. I really like CCleaner. If you don't have it on your computer, something you should have on your computer. So like I said before, it's in the description. Let's move on to an actual different piece of software. And super helpful tip uh, for anyone that wants better performance in their browsers. Um, if you're running a 32-bit uh, operating system, this doesn't apply to you, but if you have a 64-bit operating system, which most modern computers are running on the 64-bit, 
operating system. If you do, uh, you can check that in your operating systems. If you just uh, search like what operating system you're using, uh, you, you should be able to find what operating system you have. But if you're using a 64-bit operating system, which you will if you're using more more than four gigabytes of RAM, uh, even if you're using less, you, I think you can run that on a 64-bit. But if you are, definitely get a 64-bit browser. Uh, this is a Firefox 64-bit. That's why it's a lot smoother. I actually still have, I think, the 32-bit installed. Maybe not. It might be, yeah, it's right here. And that'll open up in a different browser. And I don't have my login details, but it's a lot slower than the 64-bit browser, especially when I'm playing Flash games like Adventure Quest World. So if you want the 64-bit browser of whatever browser, I can't leave a link to every browser in existence in my description. So just search up your browser and 64-bit. There should be a 64-bit version. If there isn't, I think Chrome has a 64-bit. Firefox has a 64-bit because that's what I'm using right now. And there's a bunch of different 64-bit browsers. So find one, install it, and use that uh, for playing, and it'll be a lot better experience for you. So moving on to the next thing. So if your computer's running really slow, you haven't run an antivirus scan in a long time, and you don't have antivirus software, don't pay for antivirus software. That is 100% a scam. It's been a scam for a long time, and it's a scam that a lot of people fall for. It literally is a scam. I recommend getting anti-malware um, bytes. Uh, it's probably the most popular and most used antivirus software. It's free. Well, not most used because you know the scam paid for Norton bullshit. Um, yeah, so you can just scan your system and it'll scan for malware. It updates often. This program's really good and it's free also. You can get a paid version that does more and does like a active scan. Also, if you have an antivirus software on your computer, uninstall that. Um, it's probably running active scans and slowing down your computer all the time. Um, if you have it actively scanning but you still want it on your computer, uh, just go into your antivirus software, turn off at active scanning and just don't go to shady websites and download random stuff, guys. That's not smart. Um, so as long as you don't do that, you shouldn't be getting viruses. I mean, there's always a chance, but uh, just run this like maybe once a week, once every two weeks. If you run this, your computer will run faster and it will also not have any viruses, which is great. So let's move on to the next thing. So I this might be an issue with just my computer, but I, I'm sure at least one or two people have Eight, um, processors you know in their computers I mean a few people might so if you do and you want it to be optimized on a software level of course if you have a shitty processor it's not gonna help but if your processor is not optimized for Windows like the AMD processors are very not optimized for Windows like the 6 and 8 core AMD processors which are pretty popular a lot of people use them um, the processor lasso uh, this program is very cool. You know, when an application doesn't need all eight cores or only can use six or only can use two or one or whatever in some applications still for some reason. So it will pick how many cores you need to use and pick the best cores to use for that program. It's basically optimizing it. You can, um, you can mess around with this a lot to just get your cores running how you want them and perfectly optimized. Very good program. I'd recommend it if you have more than, I think, two cores, or even if you have more than one core, which I'm guessing everyone does. So uh, you can try out this program. It's free, and you can download it. Link in the description. All right, so this will be the last little advice I'll give you in this video. Hopefully I helped you guys. If I did, leave a like. Let's see if we got over 100 likes on this video. That'd be amazing. Um, but the last one, and this is probably more important than uh, most of the other things I told you about some programs. So on your browser, I'd recommend having a browser. This is why I use Firefox. I have a browser that I only use for adventure quests. Um, that way, it's not being slowed down or I'm not using it at the same time as other browsers and it, it can be running at the maximum speed. And in this browser that you only have for adventure quests, uh, I'd recommend not having any add-ons. So as you can see, I have no, actually I do have plugins for Shockwave and encoders and stuff, but these are all very, very good plugins, but don't have any extensions or anything like that. I do have an appearance add-on, of course, that's why it's dark. Uh, that That's a very light plugin, that's not going to affect it, but if you're running like a bunch of random plugins on your browser uh, that aren't doing anything, and check that, because sometimes you'll get like malware plugins on your browser for like ads and stuff that replace the Google ads. Um, so definitely check that you don't have any malicious plugins on your browser, and yet on Chrome you can find them, they're very easy to find on Chrome also. And uh, yeah, you can 
disable your plugins, delete them, all that stuff, and make sure you're running uh, not a lot of plugins. Because when you run more and more plugins, of course, that's more intensive on your browser, and there's less performance you'll have for your game. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like. Comment down below if you have any tips on like different things that you do that maybe I didn't cover in this video or forgot to cover. Oh, one more thing. You can defrag your hard drive. Uh, don't defrag an SSD. If you have an SSD, a solid state drive, don't defrag that. But um, why is it? No. So if you search uh, defragment optimization of drives, uh, don't defrag. It'll say right here a solid state drive. Um, and a hard drive. You can you can uh, defrag hard drives. Don't don't defrag those. Um, but if you do, you do that, like you can actually set it up so it does that on like once a week or something like that. And that'll just speed up your hard drive a little bit. So you can also do that. Um, don't think that'll affect your browser performance, but it'll affect your computer uh, performance with uh, startups. Like when you're starting up programs and stuff, it'll affect that speed. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, comment down below the extra things that I might not have covered in this video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Hopefully it's helped. Peace, guys.